Hi everyone, before you say it, I'm gonna say it for you. Tommy, you're crazy. But there's a reason behind my craziness. If you didn't get it by the title of this video, today what I'm doing is not only in, am I upgrading the steering wheel trim to uh, this beautiful carbon fiber one, but I'm also <laughs> replacing my steering wheel and I am going back to the original steering wheel that the car came with. This is all leather and it's heated, whereas uh, this is the M Performance uh, version 2 steering wheel that's leather and uh, Alcantara. It's uh, got a bit of a flatness at the bottom. It's got that uh, 12 o'clock strip. It is not heated. Now, there are two reasons why I'm making this change, or maybe actually three. The first reason is I don't necessarily think that the carbon fiber steering wheel trim goes with this steering wheel. This steering wheel is a bit more sporty, and uh, when I think of sporty, I don't necessarily think of blingy carbon fiber. So I think this matte black plastic works better. Two, I am uh, pretty annoyed by this Alcantara. While it feels great, it does develop these uh, these flat spots that I have to clean every so often. Uh, it's just easier to clean actual leather. This is nothing that's irreversible, but it's just after a couple of uh, weeks of use after you clean it, it starts looking uh, kind of old and you got to refresh it with, uh, with a brush and everything else. So I'm not necessarily happy with, uh, with the way it looks. And then three, I don't know what's happening with me, but I am now kind of going more and more towards the stock and, and, and OEM look. Even though this is OEM, but I think the steering wheel that the car came with is, is more OEM. And you, you notice from my prior videos, I, I got rid of carbon fiber on the exterior of the car, but now I'm adding carbon fiber, but I'm also adding the original wheel. I don't know what I'm thinking, but right now it actually makes sense. It's all in my head, so without any further ado, We've done this in the past, but I'm going to quickly show you again how to uh, remove the steering wheel. You put the screwdriver here and here. Oh, and uh, the battery has been disconnected. As we move closer here, you see this is the clip that you have to undo. So you put the screwdriver in. And you basically can start pulling and that disengages the airbag. Apparently, you don't put the airbag upside down. So let me just put it down here and afterwards we are left with these two connectors to undo this one and that one and then with all the cables out of the way you grab a 16 millimeter socket and undo it and now we can simply remove the steering wheel so seriously this definitely feels like a deja vu this is the v2 that we're going to be removing and uh, this is the original one that we're going to be installing with this beautiful carbon fiber trim. And once again, look, this is what's going to happen if you were to put carbon fiber over this. In my mind, it just doesn't work. So what we have to do with this one first is we're going to have to undo this, this, this. Uh, that's going to allow us to release not only the buttons, but also the trim. Uh, there are bolts here. And here that we're gonna have to remove. Okay, so we started with a T20 and we undo this, this, and this in the back. And this should simply clip off. And now, just to show you that I'm not crazy, look, this is what happens when you put this carbon fiber trim onto this wheel. It just doesn't go together. It, it really doesn't. There is a tiny ground bolt, you see, that one, that we have to undo. Next is we're gonna have to snake the cable from here. And it's gonna be easier if we kind of pull this back. See, pull all of these plastics away. It's gonna allow us to, there you go, undo another ground. I think maybe that's the horn snake this away move this to the side and check this out the steering wheel comes off and i'm holding this just the way it was and i'm putting this steering wheel in see this sensor stays in place what we can do now is we can just go across with these buttons pull them to this side 
we're gonna snake him again here just like they were originally and then we're gonna put this plug in here before we insert this plastic piece in here let's remember to put the ground bolt in so this one by grabbing one of the black ones screw it in with a t20 then there's this device here that we're just gonna clip see this slides into these little sliders so it doesn't move around and then the extra step is if you have a heated steering wheel you connect the heating element it'll click in place and uh make sure none of the wires are pinched and the last thing you have to do is assemble the buttons by doing this this you flip it upside down you just grab your black screws t20 screw them in we're gonna put this beautiful piece in here and look at it i am not crazy but this looks so much classier here we go this looks a lot classier than having it with the M Performance uh, V2 wheel. And we are done with this. Wow, I've gotta say, I know I said it when I upgraded to the V2 wheel, but holding this wheel, again, it's a very, very nice and thick steering wheel. But here, let me show you what happens to the Alcantara. You see, when you come up close here, see how thick and uh and padded this gets yes there are cleaners and you can simply use water and soap and a little brush to uh, re agitate the feathers and it'll it'll come back to life again but i just don't want to have to do it every uh, every so often and you see this little discoloration here this bugs me a lot yes i could get a blue marker and and color it but this happens on all of them it just every time you slide your hand over or when you're using uh, cleaners on your steering wheel this agitates this uh this color and also just in case you haven't seen my original install video where i compared the two steering wheels uh, this is the thickness comparison so the v2 steering wheel the thumb rests here are a little thicker than the oem or the uh, the original ones and you have a little indent here where this is sort of more rounded and also the steering wheel here is uh, has this sort of sharp edge whereas the original one has a very rounded edge and finally at the bottom this has a bot flat bottom steering wheel and this one just uh, is fully rounded and we're back behind the steering wheel or at least where the steering wheel used to be so here is the steering wheel and in case you are worried about not putting it back together where it is don't worry these teeth over here have specific notches so there's a flat notch here that corresponds with a flat notch at the bottom of this gear here so there's no way you can screw it up check it out it just falls right in you push it in place again let's inspect that all the cables can reach this can reach here this can reach here before we connect these cables let's obviously tighten it to spec okay and then gently connect this cable here you gently connect this cable so that the airbag is ready to be put on you basically take this clip and now you can just simply align it and push it in clicks in place and we are good to go and as i and as i zoom out this is the new steering wheel yes. as you can tell I am not totally crazy. In my mind, this kind of makes sense. This carbon fiber piece works a lot better with this original leather steering wheel. And bonus, we're gonna have my heated steering wheel for this winter season. And I just like to switch things up every once in a while. I had the performance steering wheel on the car for about a year and a half. And while it served me well, it was time for me to switch things up. Again, you see what I'm doing. I, I switch my wheels up, I switch my, my front lip, I switch the side skirt, now I'm, I actually got away from exterior carbon fiber, and I'm actually introducing carbon fiber in the interior. I don't know, I'm all over the place, but I do like to switch things up. But for now, I am very happy with the way this looks. 
and uh, let me know what you think about my craziness by commenting uh, below and letting me know if you would do the same thing or again maybe i am nuts at the end of the day anyways thank you for sticking around thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video bye <laughs>